false information. Itumbi, who is now the secretary for digital at the office of the deputy president, is being probed over a letter on an alleged plot to eliminate deputy president William Ruto. Itumbi will spend the night at the Muthaiga police station and is expected to be arraigned in court tomorrow. For someone who tested the goodies of proximity to power and brushed shoulders with who is who on the house on the hill, the tables have turned for Dennis Itumbi. He was arrested near City Hall early afternoon and taken to the Directorate of Criminal Investigations headquarters. He was interrogated for over an hour over the publication of false information. The question which is uh, very central to the investigation is alleged fake publications on the plot to assassinate the His Excellency the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. The letter dated the 30th of May 2019 was purportedly written by a cabinet secretary to the office of the president. According to the letter, four cabinet secretaries, Joseph Musheru, Cicely Karioki, James Masharia, and Peter Munya, are alleged to have held a meeting at Lamada Hotel on the 14th of May, where a plot to eliminate Deputy President William Ruto was hatched. Trade CS Peter Munya, ICT CS Joe Musheru, and Health CS Cicely Karioki were summoned to the DCI last month over the alleged assassination plot. The letter was shown to us. And you were told that this letter contains the allegations. But the DCI was not able to authenticate the letter. The DCI reached out to the FBI to help authenticate and track the author of the letter. Preliminary findings pointed to two individuals working at the office of the deputy president. Dennis Itumbi, who worked as the State House Director of Communications in Uhuru Kenyatta's first term, was moved to the office of the Deputy President after the 2017 elections. The officers have told us that they will prefer charges against him and he will be charged in court tomorrow. After being interrogated at the DCI, he was taken to the Muthaiga police station. They have refused to grant him bail or bond pending tomorrow's appearance. His main fear is that whether these investigations are going to be independent and objective. But he will record that in court tomorrow. Itumbi is not new to being detained by the police. In 2012, he was arrested over claims that he hacked into the International Criminal Court website and he was detained at the Muthaiga police station. He later sued the government over illegal arrest and detention. He was awarded 5 million shillings as compensation. For now, the charges which will be preferred against him remain unclear. Rita Tinina, KTN News. A Tanzanian national found guilty of aiding the 2015